Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about omega-6 fatty acids and inflammation. Now as you may not know or you may know, omega-6 basically will increase your inflammation. Omega-3 fatty acids decrease inflammation. They're anti-inflammatory. Okay. Now in America, the ratio is 1 to 20 omega-6. In other words, people consume way, way more omega-6 than omega-3. Okay. Ideally, it needs to be one to one. And what does that mean? It, mean, it tells us what we need to be eating. Uh, because look at these are the omega th 6 fatty acid foods poultry, nuts, vegetable oils like corn oil, grains, flax oil, pumpkin seed oil, canola, soybean, cottonseed, sunflower. But you know, some of these here uh, do have omega 3, but they're heavier on the omega 6 fatty acids. So these will tend to create more inflammation if you don't have these right here, fish oils, cod liver oil, sardines, fish, anchovies, uh, grass-fed uh, eggs, uh, grass-fed beef, beef, things like that, or even some dairy. So basically, we want to balance these out. Now, the problem is, like flax oil, for example, can convert to omega-3 DHA, which is a, a certain type of essential fatty acid but it only converts in smaller amounts. So what I'm saying is animal food or fish has a lot more bioavailable um, omega-3 uh, DHA and EPA. Those are very specific types of fats than these other ones because the other ones have to convert. So it's harder for your body to convert uh, like grains or even uh, flax oil or sunflower to the thing that you really need. So again, Here's just like something that you want to, if you want to know what would be the ideal um, food that we need, you know, just look at what's out there and what's absorbed. And apparently our diets, our bodies were designed to consume some of these foods right here. Now the problem with fish oils, especially if you buy it at probably these, the, you know, at the local grocery store, you're going to get in bulk, you're going to get a low quality fish oil. It's probably going to be rancid. It's probably worse than not have anything at all. So I would not recommend consuming inexpensive fish oil. What I do recommend is going out and investing more in something like virgin cod liver oil, something very raw and fresh. It is more expensive, but it really works. Now, sardines are really good. You can even get the benefits from the can. But see, the larger fish like shark or swordfish are higher in mercury. But it just so happens that a lot of these fish and even the cod liver oil are very, very high in a trace mineral called selenium. And the relationship between selenium and mercury is interesting. Mercury tends to inactivate the enzymes that have selenium that make them up. So that's why you want to consume some of these higher quality um, fish oils, especially the cod liver oil, to get more selenium to be able to de dismantle any mercury that's in there. So basically, more selenium, the less mercury effect that you'll have on the body. And it just so happens, the other thing that has a lot of selenium is wheatgrass juice, especially um, the kamut. I added in the recent one, I added a little kamut in there, which is 25% kamut, which is a type of wheatgrass, which is loaded with selenium, which is a really good mineral to uh, support the enzymes that have uh, detoxifying powers on the liver. If you have inflammation in your body, you just need to start increasing the omega-3 fatty acids. Go with quality. I suggest you get the cod liver oil, get the uh, uh, wild caught cod liver oil. That would probably be the best. But you can also do some of these other things too. And make sure that we balance these two right here. All right? Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.